up, pussies? So, today I want to talk about Rossi's Dress for Less. Now, some of you seen a post I done the other day on Instagram, a cartoon, about how the influencer clippers and even some other non-influencer clippers are ending up at, like, Dross, like <laughs> Rossi's Dress for Less and TK, TJ Mask, Max, depending on what country you're in. And also, just just the flopping. Like a lot of couples are flopping left and right. So I did a I did a post making fun of um, Andy Authentic, and mainly just because he thinks he's a gangster. That's the main reason why I made fun of him. But then also the fact that his clipper flopped. And then what what was weird is I got some people saying, "Well, T Bab should have been in Ra- Ross's dress for less." And I was reading it, and I was like, "What are you talking about?" And like, where T Bab's a kind of thing, you see, like, I need to explain how this works exactly, just so you you kind of get a full idea. So, if you are in Ross's dress for less, right? Like, you've ever been in one? I've been in the TJ Maxx and and seen what they like, right? So you go in. And it's all stuff from all different genres of, they've got clothing, they've got clippers, they've got homeware, they've got everything, but it's stuff that didn't sell. Like, TJ Maxx don't sit there and be like, ooh, well, let's make an order for the hot new, no. They buy cheap stock that has flopped and doesn't sell. So, your opinion of what should be in there is absolutely irrelevant. It's like it's literally, it doesn't matter because the only way you're going to get into TJ Maxx or whatever it's called is by your product flopping. So every time you see a clipper or a brand that is in there, all that means is they made a poor decision, the product didn't do well, And they had to sell it off for pennies just so they didn't completely lose all the money. So, if you see an influencer clipper in there, you need to question how influential they are for one. Like, what are you influencing people to do? Not to buy your machine because it's in the bargain bin at Ross's Dress for Less. Like, we we cannot argue with this. It's it's in real life. You, You see it all the time. And then number two... People saying, well, t bob should be in that. T-Bob doesn't flop. And that's the thing. We sell. Like, we release products and they sell. Whether the other brands over-ordered and they sell some, but they just don't sell enough is another story. Maybe. Whether it's old stock on the shelves, it doesn't even move from the barber supplies. At the, I don't know. I don't know the full the full answers. All I know is that for a product to end up in there... It needs to not be wanted at the price it has been set at. Which means it is market proof and visual proof that no matter what you say or what has happened, that the products are too expensive. So if a product was 200 and it ends up for like 30 or 40 at Ross's Dress for Less and it's not a product that's just been discontinued or they're not doing anymore, it's just a product that has flopped then it means either your prices are too high or maybe it just means you're shit at business or maybe it just means like for these influencers that maybe you're just not as influential as you think you are